Howdy folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play Adventure, where today everything is a little bit different. Um, the camera's where it's always been. I have moved. Uh, I've moved the whole setup over about four or five inches. Maybe it won't even be that noticeable. I, I don't know. I might be more closer to center of frame. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to adjust things because uh, I've got all these defaults I can just drop on footage to get my head in the right place in that little square and all that. But yeah, the whole room's going to be changing a lot in the future. So, you know, this series I don't imagine will last very long because this isn't a massive DLC. I think we'll probably be through with it here in the very near future. But uh, ongoing series is to look out for, I guess, Assassin's Creed. If you want to check out the background and watch as it slowly changes. But... We are back here in Final Fantasy 16, and we have nothing preventing us now from progressing on to the rising tide, make for the air of hours. Our airy of, the of hours probably makes more sense. I think last time we recorded, we just did side content. So I believe where we I left off the with the story was the baby had just summoned a bunch of monsters to attack us and we had taken some of the baby's power, but the baby is still frozen in time, but the baby is also sentient. So the baby is sentient and frozen in time, which means uh, presumably for the last several hundred years or however long the baby has been trapped in time, the baby has been aware of everything going on around it, which is a gosh darn tragedy when you think about it. Because it's going to come out, and it's still going to be a baby, but it's going to have, like, the wisdom of an ancient being, presumably. Do I need to go up to the next? Yes, we'll take our turn here. There was nothing else to do on this map, right? I don't believe so. We never did travel all the way along this route and have it connect back up over here. But I assume we'll have to go to the baby later anyway, once we unfreeze time, so we can get the baby out. And hopefully, like, the freakiest thing is... Overhead and beyond it. A cluster of ancient ruins. The temple, or the air of hours as my people call it, can only be reached by passing through them. Fair enough. My concern when we get the baby is out is because the baby has been like sentient and conscious of the world around it for, you know, the last couple hundred years. Is it going to immediately just start talking? Like, I know it's an infant, but all those bits are developed. It has a tongue and a mouth. I guess it's never practiced, so it might not sound very clear. But like, I, I'm I'm genuinely worried the baby's gonna go. And I'm not ready for it. I'm not prepared to have a, a literal infant chewing us out for having it frozen. First off, we're not involved. We weren't affiliated with this. We were not even born yet when it was frozen in time and space. And why you carry that impressive-looking axe, I presume? Noticed her, have you? I have to get off to open the Straight gate? Home now. I mean, that's fair. That's most gates, I suppose. You normally don't open them from inside your car. Unless you have a little clicker. Uh, which would be nice to have. I have a friend who's got a gate, and he just gave me a clicker for it. And I, and, uh, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's like a sign of great trust around, uh, you know, when you live out in the boonies. It's like, I'm giving you a clicker to my land. I trust you not to come the poaching. The <laughs> up there. Don't worry. Those cliffs aren't the only way to the top. Should we, like, do something with the robber crabs? And also, do they actually rob? Like, my question is, if they manage to attack us, will they take our money? They're not, like, initially super hostile. We did have to get right up on them before they decided they were bothered by our presence. Which is nice. You know? Alright, well. you two. How about this? What's next? We've used up all of our good abilities for 18 gil, which as far as I know could have very well been stolen from us because I was not paying attention to whether or not they were robbing us, even though that was the whole point of stopping and investigating them, was to see whether or not the robber crabs would in fact robber us. And now we'll just never know. We have to carry on through life without knowing for sure. I'm not dealing with the Grey Widows. We're going to leave them be. I, again, I'm not really sure if we can actually level up. I think we theorized that possibly they had raised the level limit, but we don't really know. And if we go in here to... Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're about to be level 51. But what if this gets to the end? And instead of going to level 51, it just resets. And this is like a prestige level, right? And, and all we get in exchange for it is a free song. Because that's the I only collectibles the they have in this game. Yes. As far as we can tell, they're part of the same complex as the temple itself. To think of all the people who must once have lived here. 
It's strange that there's a jungle to the north. I'm not really sure about the layout of this world. You know what? There's probably stuff to explore. We can do it later. No doubt, if there are more side quests, they will lead us back here anyway. I'm kind of more interested in just beelining it straight up the mountain and figuring Please out what's going on up home. here. You're from the north, then? Yes. And no. I see. That's a complicated way of answering a very basic question. I guess we have to fight this guy. He is in our path. I don't think we can get around him necessarily. Do you oh, hello there, sir. That was quite the damaging blow you just dealt me. And I see that you're jumping towards me, but mayhaps you'll just stand frozen in time while I do this instead? You, you, don't, you don't take a lot of damage, do you? And we went right out of that into being attacked. Hey, I figured out something cool we can do. Check this out. We can hold this down, and it'll charge up the ability. And, oh, oops. And do a big attack. Hold on. No. Ah, I've hit the wrong button. But watch this. We can also hold down this button. Yeah, see? And that's useful for, like, getting a bunch of dudes. We're going to stop doing that, though, because I think we're going to get ourselves killed if we're not careful. Yeah, no, see what I mean? Now, the tempting thing to do here is to just go ahead and heal. But we're not going to heal. I have full confidence in our abilities to avoid whatever attacks he's doing. And you know what? Let's just hit him with the big abilities. Let's just, let's just take him out with the big fire one. Wow, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage to him either. This this Temple Quirrell, or whatever you might call him, by whatever name he is, still a beast. He's going to be quite the challenge. What if I just hit him? What does that get me? He, doesn't, he hasn't seemed particularly perturbed by any of the attacks that we've leveled against him so far. Hold on. What if we just like wrap him up in a twister real quick? He's very close to a point where I can wrap him up. Oh, jeez. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. There we go. Tug him down. Okay. And then hit him with, with a big punch. And then hit him with a big punch, but this time at the ground. Completely missed that. Oh, sweet heavens. It's okay. We can get him from a distance. Come on, stagger. Stagger. Oh, you son of a gun! We got him too far from his spawn. So naturally, we got out of combat. So naturally, we have to restart, is what has to happen now. Isn't that fun, everybody? Isn't that a great time? That's just great for me. None of my abilities are charged back up. Uh, you know what? We're going to wait for all of our abilities to charge back up. And in the meantime, what is this? What is this right here? Where's this alternative route? If we go this way, can we sneak around behind that guy? Is that a possibility? Like, I, what if I just don't want to fight him? Is there an alternate route back here? And is it possibly even safer and full of wonderful treasures? Okay, well, there's two spools of steel silk. And there's a bunch of uh, gray widows. And it kind of looks like... Hold on, we'll deal with this guy real quick. That's not, that's not much to deal with, honestly. Just a spider. And you know what? It's a good opportunity... It's a good opportunity to just, you know, get get some combat practice in. There we go. Oh, son of a gun, look at us go. Sneak it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 we basically snuck past him. Come on. We're leaving him behind. We're not going to fight him. We're under no obligation to do so. We're going. Come on. We got a fast travel point here. We're done. Maiden's March Obelisk. And there's a cave. Do you see that cave up ahead? Whoever lived here carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. And whatever it is that awaits us there. Naturally, we would need a different point on the map for this. That makes perfect sense. I think we're heading into a bit of an instanced dungeon situation. Very similar to... Actually, when was the last time we were asked to do this? Wasn't it when we were going down here? To Tailwind Bay? And that's just an area we can now walk to. I don't actually know what they're doing. I don't know if they know what they're doing. We're heading, we're heading to the air of ours. Or the airy of ours, if you're so inclined. So let's just get in there and see what awaits us. I assume we will be fighting a boss to release time. I don't know that, 
that is my assumption, educated assumption based on there, experience with the game. The temple the time forgot. But not the temple of time. Because I'm sure Nintendo must own copyright on the phrase. And the various inside. Yes. You can see the spell's path from the nave. What is it? I... I don't know. It's probably nothing. That fantastic voice synchronization they got with the lip sync. Oh, just zero out of ten. Go back and try again. The, here. the spell was originally meant to be cast on Drake's eye, and this was the only place with an unbroken line of sight. The Tonburys like to think these ruins are their own. Well, they might they be. None too pleased to see us. We don't actually know enough about Tonberries to say definitively that they did not, in fact, build these ruins all those many centuries or eons ago. Also, they have tails, and that still bothers me. I never knew Tonberries to have tails, and I still don't know whether or not that is a thing in any other game in this franchise. I've not bothered to go and look. Don't let them stab you. I don't know. To be fair, I don't think we've been hit by one yet, so I don't actually know if they're a one-shot kill in this game. I'd rather not find out. I, I count that as a great failure on my part, if that is in fact the case. Also, we, we should just be shooting them right now. Sorry. Oh, good. There's more coming. Did not mean to summon you. What I meant to do is pull out my gun. All right. Lovely. But watch this. This will hit multiples. Or it would if there was a bunch of them directly in front of me, because that ability does not shoot very far. I can't actually see that holding down the button deals all that much more damage as opposed to just, like, rapid firing. And in fact, I'm almost positive just from what we're looking at here. Rapid firing is, in fact, better. Also, it hits, like, multiple guys. Maybe when you hold it down, it just focuses the shot? Hold on. Oh my gosh, that guy was coming for me. Yeah, it just looks like a super focused shot. Get away from me, pal. Get away, get away from me, get away from me! Can confirm, it's not a one-shot kill, but gosh darn it, it's about to be! I'm not gonna heal, I refuse. We're just gonna cop it and carry on. Hey, there's the answer to that question! <laughs> In the middle of firing! Yes, indeed, we do level up! We've gone to level 51, so they've raised the level cap as part of this DLC, because I'm pretty sure the level cap was 50. And we've gone to 50. I don't know how high it goes. It might only go to like 55 or something along those lines. Pretty much everything we've fought since we started this DLC has been level 50. So I'm not entirely sure what the boss is going to be. Uh, if maybe I should be focusing on trying to fight things and level up. I've just sort of assumed up until now that we'll be fine going through level 50. But seeing now that we can in fact break that barrier has me questioning whether or not that is in fact While the case. dwindle. There seem only to increase, as if they were feeding off our suffering. That's quite grim. Thank you so much for your quite grim story. I appreciate it. Uh, right, carrying on though, carrying on. Not gonna dwell too much on that. I do wonder how much XP is required to reach the next level though. We have gone and fought many hyenas in order to get enough money to buy all of the upgrades that have been offered to us so far in this DLC. Which has me wondering- oh, okay, potion use, that's fine. Has me wondering whether or not... The Will of the Water was just acquired. Um, yeah, I completely forgot what I was just saying. It's been one of those kind of days, I gotta tell ya. It's just been one of those kind of days, you know? What, what was the- what was- what, what sentence was I just in the middle of? What was I even saying when I started running up here? Oh! Uh, I wonder if maybe what I've been fighting has just had really low XP gains and we should be trying to farm out here. Now, I, the reason we were farming on hyenas is because they drop a lot of goblin coins, like an insane amount of goblin coins, which is a good way to get money. But it's possible that there are bosses around these parts that are better for XP. Is this like Lord of the Tonberries? He's blue. Why is he blue? He got a... Big Cleaver!
But is he still really Let slow? He is Master Tonberry. Oh, welcome to us. I feel like he's about to jump right at me. I've, I've got to be ready just on the dodge. Should I just start clicking dodge now? Oh! Master Tonberry indeed! Master Tonberry indeed! Okay, now he did get me with that one. That's fair. Hold on. Get him with the fire. Yeah, he's not going to like that one. No one likes fire. Okay, and get him with the twister. Get him with the twister too. We've now hit him with all three of our maximum abilities. So now we just, I think, avoid him. Right? Like, that's what you want to do with the Tonberry. You want to avoid him, surely. Because the danger of a Tonberry is if he hits you, he deals a lot of damage. So if we just stay far away... Good job, everyone. If we can freeze him, we can deal We can deal the last blow that's going... Get out of there. I want to, like, long-term freeze him so we can, like, definitely... Oh, I'm too scared to stand around. There we go! I was going to say, I'm too scared to stand around long enough to actually get this hit in. Really? Okay, hold on. Doing fantastic. No worries. I think we're actually doing better against the Master Tonberry than we were the regular ones earlier. Surprisingly. And all of our big water abilities are charged up again. So as he's coming out of there, we can hit him with whatever this is. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think I can dodge out of the way while that's happening. Is the only issue. That just does not do a whole lot of damage. I think it's better when you're dealing with multiple enemies because it'll kind of get all of them. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, no, s stop. Stop it right now. Oh, geez, stop that right now, sir. Uncalled for aggression. To be fair, this is entirely on him. We didn't come here looking for a fight. He just started attacking us. Although we did assume that this is what was going to happen. I reckon if he hadn't attacked me, I probably would have run up and just started smacking him with my sword. Just in the off chance that's what happened. But everything in this world is super hostile. Did you see me, like, manage that dodge while I am in the process of scratching my nose? It's a lot easier to fight one single guy than it is a bunch of smaller guys. It's just a whole lot easier to stay focused on him and kind of, like, know what he's doing at any given time. Whereas if you're dealing with a lot of fellas... Oh, ho, 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 ho. If you're dealing with a lot of fellas, they sneak around behind you and it gets complicated. We didn't quite get this restored or refilled, but I think we got it enough that we should be able to finish him off right now. This should be a beautiful moment. This should be a moment of triumph. He's about to be unstaggered, so it might not be a moment of triumph. We might have to, like, we might have to run away here, I think. Yeah, no, we gotta get away from that guy. Oh! If you are willing to stand there and almost get hit, it is worth it just to get these little moments to, like, punch him real good. Oh, jeez! What do you do if you're in the middle of that? You can't dodge. Do you just have to, like, time it better? Hold on, what are we doing? Let's just shoot him. Let's finish him off with a gun. Clive and company, everyone. It's all on them. I'm just mashing buttons. Like I know what I'm doing. And occasionally, like, commentating it to make it seem more like I know what I'm doing. We've got some fool's gold. It's used in crafting. That could have been worse. I suppose. I feel bad. I well, if the forest's taught me anything, is that there's always something worse. There's always a bigger fish? Is that what you're trying to communicate to us, Shula Jen? I was expecting to get some sort of sage wisdom there. There's just always something worse, though. That's like what your pessimistic friend says when they get through a really rough season of life. And you say, but you made it through. And they just look at you and they go, there's always something worse. It's like, I, uh, thanks, buddy. Yep, that's good. That's what we all wanted to hear from you. How do the wolves, so are the wolves, do they get along with the Tonberries? Because it seems like the wolves would have had to get past a lot of Tonberries in order to end up in this temple. Yeah, there we go. All right, let them go. Okay, survive. assuming any of them survive. Oh, I didn't expect it to one-shot them all when I was done. That's beautiful. That's a wonderful combination of abilities right there. That's like the guy who mixed peanut butter with his chocolate and realized he was on to something. Oh no, one of these guys and a few and a few flowers. Can we slip past him though? Is the question. 
I can't even open up a map, so there's no likelihood that we're going to find an alternative path. We're ready this time. We're ready. We, he can't get away from us. There's no paths that he can accidentally slink down that we have to worry about. So also, I think if we do this right now, we'll get not just him. Oh, is he so far away that we're not even really hitting him? I think we might have hit him a little bit. I got to remember that dodge is on a different button here when we are using this ability because we're not using the... Uh, oh, hold on. Did we even manage to do this the last time we fought one of these? Is this guy kind of a... Is he kind of a pushover compared to the last one? Where'd he go? Alright, yeah. We'll get rid of the wolf trap just so we don't have to deal with it. Come on, big boy! Dang it. Come on, do it again. I'm ready this time. Oh, come on, no, no, you, 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 your body. Physically leap at me. To be fair, I was ready to dodge. I did successfully dodge. But I need to dodge his physical assaults at the last possible second. That doesn't count. Yeah, no, I'm too much of a coward to stand there and wait for the perfect timing. That's my problem. Come on, I'm brave. No, I'm not that brave, I guess. To be fair, most of the time when I get that timing perfect, it is not because I was, like, bold and brave. It's because I didn't realize what was about to happen in time, and so it just happened to be perfect. Take a high potion. Let's not die. <laughs> We're gonna make an exception here today. Oh, I thought he was attacking something different because of the direction he was facing. Is my excuse, and I didn't even hit the button that time. I'm falling apart here. We've not even managed to stagger this guy once. That was a dodge! Okay, hold on. Hit him with the twister. Hit him with the twister, and while he's in the twister, hit him with this. Is he about to hit me? Okay, I'm just start spamming the dodge button. Like, right now, preemptively. Oh, I didn't even get out fast enough! We did stagger him, though, which is good news. Hold on, while he's staggered, let's do Flames of Rebirth as well. We're flames of Rebirthing him while he's inside of a twister, while he's inside of uh, being staggered, and we'll shoot him with a gun. We have unleashed literally everything we have to unleash on this thing, and it is still alive. Alright, big boy, let's go. Again, I don't know if dodging that ability last second is going to uh, freeze him in place. Did he get my dog? It sounded like he got my dog. All of that sounded like the pain of a little dog in its suffrage. See, I remembered that was a double attack that time. Yes! There we go! That's the timing we need to have every time, and that we just sadly do not. Get shot! Get shot, big boy! That's the wrong one! That's what I mean about ending up with the wrong thing and using the wrong dodge. Oh, shoot. Hold on, while he does that, that's not what I meant to do. I was trying to get the gun so we could shoot him while that was happening. Hey, big fella. How do you feel about tsunamis? We already know he doesn't. it doesn't bother him all that much. He's not that concerned about a tsunami as it happens. I think we did finish him, though. What does he drop? It's gotta be something good. Magicked Ash. 300 gil, yes, but Magicked Ash. Sometimes we just pick that up off the ground. I was assuming he'd have something special that we could use for crafting. Hopefully there's only the two of them in the world. Did he even... Did he drop, like, a lot of uh, XP or something? Not really, no. We're still 130,000 XP away from leveling up again. <sighs> okay, this is sus. This is either a really long passage up to a temple. Is that the knife? Just inside the dome, yes. But it's what's out here that worries me. That's what I was thinking, is that this looks like the perfect place to have some sort of either a gauntlet where things keep coming at us from the sides. Or right up here inside of all of these pillars. This is a boss fight area. All of my abilities are almost restored. So I guess we're ready. 
Come what may. Yeah, I know. You jump across this, and it immediately goes into a cutscene. 